gamers, you've made it to the climax of A Realm Reborn and you're ready to hop into Castrum Meridianum, but you want to know what you're up against. No worries, I'll spell it out for you in just a few minutes. I'm Debbie and here it is. The first stretch of this dungeon is just a few trash bowls separated by gates. If you're the tank, pull as much as you feel comfortable pulling. If you're the healer, let the tank know if you're new. And if you're DPS, just make things dead as quickly as possible. Make sure you're using area of effect skills to kill as many things as efficiently as possible. Once through, you get into a battle with the Black F and some minions. The general rule is to take out the adds or additional enemies first as they appear and continue to do damage to the F every chance you get. Several groups of adds will spawn during this fight, so try to keep cutting them down while protecting your healer. If you're a DPS and you're being hit by something, make sure to bring it to the tank so they can take it off of you. Once the eft is down, you get to move on. Head into the disposal chute to get to the next area. There are a couple more packs of trash to take out before you reach the Magitech Vanguard F1. Make sure to pay attention and dodge the AoE attacks. Don't stand in the poop. And tanks should be using one of your damage mitigation abilities for tank busters. Otherwise, this fight is pretty straightforward. Burn it down. After fighting three Colossus type mobs, you are thrown into a bit of a gauntlet. Just make sure you're AoEing and keeping the healer safe and you should be fine. For the final boss, Livia, remember that her big circle attack will go off in the order of the circles were laid down. So after the swing, move into that space to be safe from the explosions. After a tank buster, she will start an AoE dance. Just be calm and remember that the attacks will go off in order, so move from safe spot to safe spot along with them. Make sure you get as far as you can from the impact point of the proximity attacks here. And here, stand in the middle to avoid, then run out and in again to dodge the circles. After that, she will do a number of raid-wide attacks which the healer just needs to heal through. Then just hit her until she takes her nap. And congratulations and enjoy the cutscenes. If this guide helped, be sure to like and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching gamers and I will see you in game.